Okay, so if somebody can record the session. I think maybe, okay, there are. All right, so you are going to do a uh, week two, Chico, MCQ. Okay, where do you find it? You can find it in learning resource, right? Learning resource, and then uh, uh, almost the bottom of learning resource, you can find an online quiz. Okay, online quiz, then you can take the quiz for Chico, all right? So this is uh, what I want on the first thing you need to do. I mean, you can you can wait until Saturday to finish up, right? The, the, I give you until Saturday to finish up to the quiz. The quiz, I think you have two attempts, so no need to worry if the first time you get wrong. Although the question may not repeat again, all right? You have two attempts. Okay, so. Okay, so okay, the, the topic is in the revision on Chico, all right. All right, I'm not sure what happened to the network quality. If you have any issue, the network quality, I think, let me know that right? there's a classic telling me that the quality of network is not very good there. So this is example three of the notes there. So let's try to answer this question first on example three. Okay, so usually I, I do one statement at a time, okay, then you try to construct a triangle. So a ship is steering at 037 at 10 knot. Okay, so something like this. So a ship is, something doesn't look, look like I can do anything. Let me okay. I think something wrong. Let me restart again. All right. Okay. Let me restart again because I think uh, stop trying now. Okay. Sorry about that. Let me restart again. I think something wrong with my pen. Okay, unfortunately, my pen doesn't work there. Let me start again. Okay, hopefully the, this pen will work now. Okay. Uh, lesson two. Okay, good now. Okay, so I may go back to sharing my screen again. Okay, so hopefully it works now. Okay, a ship is telling at 037 at 10 knots. So when you when you draw it, okay, you may draw it this way, let's say a ship. Stealing at 037. So it's 037 now. 37 degree here. Yeah. At 10 knots, so the speed here is 10 here. And then the current, so this, this is a speed here. The current at 257 at 3 knots. So you know where is 257? Let's try to figure out where is 257 here. Now here, this is zero, this is 90, this is 180, this is 270. So 257 is less than 270. So it's somewhere here. By how much there? Okay, it's 257 now. Okay, so the missing by I think is 13 degree, right? So 257. Okay, my calculator. Okay. 270 minus 257. You can find the difference. Okay, 270 minus 257. Okay, 13, right? So this is 13 degree here. 
and it's three knots. Okay, this is the blue salmon here. So, when you look at this one, how to actually go this, all right? So, let's say this, this is, uh, you want to find a carbon here. Carbon is actually uh, 13 degree here, three not only, three only, 13 degree, all right? So, let me, we draw it uh, make it a uh, clear. So, okay, so this is bigger here. So, three knot and this is 13 degree. I say this A, this B here. Find the speed and the cost make good now, okay? So what I actually find the speed and the cost make good? I think I want to find out this answer here. Sure, how you get the three knot? Uh? I mean, uh, the three, three degrees or three knot? This three knot here because the statement, the, the blue statement here is a three knot, okay? This one is three knot here. Oh, sorry, this is the blue, blue statement, yeah? So blue statement, so let me... So the blue statement say that this is a current three knot. So this is a three here, no? All right, so the green, the yellow statement is this one. Okay, I think that I keep on getting a message say the bad network quality, okay? Hopefully it's a, if it doesn't affect you too much. So, what is the, uh, so after you got this, you can join the triangle now. Remember when you join the triangle, uh, you always join the arrow, okay? So, suppose this is the arrow here. There's another arrow here is here. Then you just join them, okay? So, you must join the triangle in such a way that the arrow, uh, you always, the tail of the arrow and the head of the arrow, Head and tail must join. Okay, when you join the arrow, uh, if especially because there is a direction involved now, okay, the direction involved, you try to head and tail. Right? So if the suppose you have this one, let's say uh, suppose this arrow head here, and then you have an arrow head like this. Is here. Then how do you draw the arrow? You must move the arrow around. Okay, you must move the arrow around so that, okay, move the arrow to here. So that the head and tail are joined together. And then you can join the final triangle, all right? Because sometimes, I think there are some problems like that. You don't know how to join them, so I want to make sure that you always hate join the tail. Okay, hate join the tail, right? Hate join the tail. Okay, so in this case, I don't have issue here. So the triangle look like this. Okay, so. Draw the triangle now. This is a C now. So A B C here. Yeah. Okay. So from here, what is the speed? Now the speed is actually the one I'm trying to figure out the speed here. The speed is this one. Speed. Okay. Speed here. The speed here. And the final cost make group the final cost the ship is moving is actually this final cost okay 
just now I thirty seven line. So this one final cost. Dimension of the sheet now. Because the sheet is sterling at thirty seven degree, but because of the carbon, the carbon has an effect on the dimension of the sheet now. Therefore, the final cost is actually you have to figure out what this direction here. So this is the join the the triangle, right? So this is an important thing how you actually come up with a triangle. I think I keep on getting the message there. Okay, say that this network quality is not very good now. Okay, so I move on to the next slide now. This next slide will show you how to figure out all the angle you necessary to find. Okay, so it's the same triangle now. Okay, same triangle. Okay, I just now draw a same triangle for you. It's a, this is a triangle. So the first thing I need to figure out, for example, I need to figure out as many possible information as possible so that I can figure out final answer. So first thing is what is angle B? Okay, the angle B I have there. So angle B is what? You know the south and west, okay, angle between south and west 90 degree, right? South and west and angle between 90 degree, right? So one of them I know that this 13 degree is the angle, okay? Is 13 degree here. So 19 degree minus 13 degree, which is a green angle here. Sorry, the the green angle here, and the yellow angle. This one is actually by doing the parallel line. This 37 degree, right? So I use a yellow color for this. 37 degree and the green color for that 13 degree. So all together, you can find B equal to 40 degree first. Okay, so this is how you find B. This is the second slide here. So after you find B is 40 degree now, so let's say this is 40 now. OK, and then. If you know B, OK, and then the side opposite B is this one. This is what you want now is a uh, speed now. Right, the side opposite B is is the uh, speed now. OK. So I know this angle is 40 degree. Now I say this is actually C here. This is C here. C is this point. And this is A here. So I know I know I want to find B now, right? So B is the basically the speed of the sheet because of current. Okay. So that's how I tell you that I when you okay. When you join the triangle, make sure that you you and you join the arrow to the arrow tail, arrow head to the tail, huh? so you get a final direction. So the final direction in this case, I don't know yet, but I need to find the final speed first. So I can use a law of cosine now. Okay. I can use a law of cosine b square is equal to a square plus c square minus two ac cosine b. Then law of cosine. Right, okay, the question is, how come we cannot use sine law? If we use a sine law, I think I know sine of b over b equal to sine of uh, c. Okay, for example, sine of c over c, c which is ten. Why I cannot use sine law now? Because I don't know why C. Okay, so you cannot use that really lah. So because you know why C, so you cannot use it to find, right? 
So, so every time you do something, unless you find all the angle already, otherwise you, you cannot use the sign law here. So find that B square equal A square plus C square minus 2AC cosine B. Okay. Now remember, in this kind of problem, you always use a sign law or cosine law. You cannot escape. Okay. So whenever you solve this kind of problem, you must think, oh, okay, can I use sign law? If you're not, then it may be cosine law. All right. So from here, I can find out that B is 7.94. Okay, so this is the second step after I find the speed. So this is this is 7.94 knots. Okay, so okay, 7.94 knots there. So we only left with one question. What is the final cost of the ship? So this is using the law of cosine to find the speed. Okay. So and then the final cost of the of the ship in this case, which direction is moved now? The final cost is this one, our uh, final cost. No good. Let me. Okay. Final cost will be this one. I use a red color one. Okay, initially the ship is sailing at 37 degree. So how do you find the final cost? Then you must find the angle A. Okay, you must find the angle A. So is there a simple way to find Angle A. So angle A. Okay, afterward then you can use a sine law or cosine law. Think about it. Can I use sine law to have uh, angle A? 3 over angle A is equal to. Okay, yeah, okay, you can you can actually use a sine law now. I know B already. Okay, so next thing I'm going to use a sine law now to find angle A first. Okay, so to find angle A, because you know B now, okay, because you know B now, huh? so sine A over A, where sine B over B, right? Sine A, we don't know A, we don't know why it's that, but the opposite side of A is 3. Okay, opposite of sine A is 3. Sine B, B is 40 degree, we calculated earlier, and B also just sound we calculate. 7.94. So you can find out what is sine A now. Okay. Sine A, then you press the calculator. How to find A here? You get A equal to, okay, sorry, this is this, this is not sine A, huh? this is A already. Okay, this is A already. So sine A actually you get something else, right? Sine A you can press the calculator. Then sine A is uh, inverse sine, then the answer from sine A. Okay, I need a way. Let me let me write down sine A first. Sine A is equal to three times sine forty over seven point nine four. Okay, so you can press calculator 3 times sine 40, 3 times sine 40. Okay, over 7.94. So you get. Okay. 
Okay, something wrong. Sine 8 times sine 40, 2 times sine 40 over 794. Okay, let me see what is our order in there. 3 times sine 40, oh, sorry. 7.94 So to find A, you get inverse sign first, inverse sign answer equal you get A. 14.06, right? So the bearing eventually is 37 degree minus 14 from 06, you get 23 degree, so bearing. So this is example three, so how you actually come by example three. All right, so hope oh, this question okay already. Because uh, uh, I pre write the solution, so slightly different there. Okay, so I hope this uh, works up, work out all right. Okay, so if this all right already, so let me uh, recap the, met the method again. As I say, we will do this one line at a time, all right? Usually, un unless the question is very difficult, then you have to uh, read the whole statement. So this one is very straightforward. You draw the triangle already, then find out the angle. Okay, this one I find angle B first. Then the angle B they help me to find out what is AC. AC which is a uh, side B there. Okay, then to find the there is a uh, answer the speed already. Okay, then then you find the final cost. Then you you need angle A. So they think of way to find angle A. So in this case, happen the sign law can work. When the sun law can work here, so you can get the angle B, angle A here. So then you can find the bearing. So this is example three. All right, hope oh, this is all right already. Then I move on to example four. Okay, example four. Let me repeat the question again. I need. I don't want this one. Okay, so. Okay, let me add it first. Okay, let's look at the question, then I, I start working out the solution. This is a difficult question. Okay, difficult question there. Because there's so much information there. So, a vessel still at zero, five zero, at five knots. Okay, so if you want to draw a picture, this one look like okay. A vessel sailing at zero five zero. Okay, 
So minus 50 degree there. So let me just write 50 with degree or two. And five knots. Okay, five knots is actually quite quite a big number. Okay, five knots here. And then the vessel observed that there's anchor elevation of a top of a tower at 10 degree. So that means that you have 10 degree north there. So 10 degree, 10 degree actually is anchor here. So no need, so big here. So 10 degree. There is a tower. Okay, tower here. Let's say this is part A, tower A, this is part tower B here. Yeah, 10 degree. No, sorry, 10 degree is not the, it's not the that bearing, okay? So it's not the bearing. Okay. The question might be very carefully. Uh, so this is vessel, 50 degree, five knot. At five o'clock, the vessel observe, the vessel observe that Anchor elevation on the top of the vertical tower is 10 degree and the bearing of the tower is 0 0.5. So actually this 1.5 here. So support the shield is there. Okay, this is 1.5 degree bearing of tower. And then at 5.10, so flat then the observe where the tower now. The tower is two five zero degree. So let me see where is it. I mean, I want to try to make the triangle look more as realistic as possible. Let's say I want to adjust the position here. So let's say this is the C now. B is somewhere here. This is a tower. So this one is actually two five zero degree. Okay, so let's see how this angle look like. Right? Okay, first the ship is dealing at fifty degree five knots. So this is the one yellow one. And then the vessel absorb the tower. Tower is at 15 degree. Okay, so I use different color here because I think I want to highlight different color here. So bearing of the tower is 15 degree at five o'clock beginning. Okay, 15 degree. So this is the uh, here. 15 degree there at 5 10. So it means 10 minutes later, the bearing of the tower is 250 degree. Ten minutes later, all right? So ten minutes later, the tower 250. So at least it's we can figure out where is 250 now. You see here. North 0, 90, so 90. 180 270 so 250 is somewhere here this angle is 20 degree so this is actually 250 right 250 here okay so this angle is 250 here so you can See, all right, this angle is 250. That is with D. So I have triangle ABC. This is how long. Uh, what else do you know? Okay, one of them is the different time. One of them is 1500 hours, 1500 hours. So different by 10 minutes. 
So what is the distance the ship travel from A to C? So the five knots <coughs> out of 10 minutes of 60 minutes, right? One hour is 60 minutes, so you get 10 minutes there out of 60 minutes. And then one knot is 1852 meter. Okay, it's so one nautical mile. Okay, one knot means one nautical mile per hour. So then you can find out 5 over 6. Okay, so 5 over 6 times 1852. You'll get 1543. So this is actually one five four three okay, one, one five four three meter. Okay, one five four three meter. Uh, five knot. Five knots means the speed of the ship there. So this is how the triangle to be made, all right? So the triangle to be made in this way. Okay, first thing, how the triangle to be made first. Then you have to figure out what are the angle you know. Okay, so let's try to figure out the angle of the triangle first. Okay, I have make it basically draw the triangle out for you early, A, B, C. So now to figure out the triangle. Okay, the, the tower is somewhere here at the point B. And there's an anchor elevation 10 degrees with the we're going to find out, right? Okay. So, first, what is anchor A? Anchor A, you can see from the diagram, is 50 minus 15, right? Anchor A is 50 minus 15, which is actually 35. Correct, anchor A is 35 now. So this one is 35. Then, can you find where is anchor B? Anchor B, okay, if you draw like that, so I can find that anchor B here, this is 15 here, same as the one. The other one is how much is that? This anchor here is 20, correct, because the same as this one, 20 here. So, angle B, you can see that this right angle here, not pole and sub pole. So, it's actually 15 plus 90 plus 20. Okay, so let's calculate this way. This thing is equal to 15 plus 90 plus 20, you get 1 to 5. Okay, how to calculate the angle B. So once you know A and B, you can find C now. Where is angle C now? Just 1, 8, 0. Because total angle or triangle is, is, is 1, 8, 0 there. So minus angle B, minus angle A, you get 1, 8, 0, minus 1, 2, 5, minus 35. So 180 minus 125 
minus 35 to 20. Right? So, practically, I solve the triangle, all the angle I know already. So, angle B, A, angle B, angle C. All of them you can get from, from the bearing. Okay, uh, then because you know all the angle already, you can actually find the distance AB. Why I need distance AB here? Horizontal distance between the tower and the vessel at 5 o'clock. Okay, 5 o'clock the vessel is here. Okay, 510, the vessel is here. So this is how you work out the angle first, then after we try to answer the question, right? So how to work out the answer first, then try to answer the question, okay? I want to find the distance between the tower and the buzzer. The distance, the tower and the buzzer at 1500, actually I want to find AB. Okay? I want to find AB here. So, how to find AB? You know the angle, you know actually all the angle really, you know one side really, 1543. Then you can find the AB now. I'm going to copy this triangle to somewhere else and then uh, place the question here. So, I'm going to put there, insert new page here. So, so let me copy the question. Okay, so I want the horizontal distance, the first part. Where is AB? Okay, distance between the ship, ship at one five zero, and tower. The tower at B here. So, so AB you can find that alright. So, you can find AB is actually the angle C now. C our side C. Okay, then you can use a B our side B. Okay, C I want to find side C is 20. Okay, side C you find, find is 20 and B is 185 1543 and B is 125. Okay, I check again. B, I got the sound 125, right? So you can find the C now is actually 1543 times sine 20 over sine 125. So you press the calculator to 1543 times sine 20 over sine 125 okay I think somewhere Let me 
try and figure out an answer. Uh, degree. One five four three times sine twenty. Over one two five. Okay, then get six four four point two four eight. Okay, six two four point. Again, six six four four meter lah. Huh? So you so this is how you get the distance AB. Okay, distance AB. This is how you find the distance AB here. So this answer the first part here. Okay, find the distance AB. Using sine law, actually, okay, sine law for this one. Okay, so this is the first part of the question. Okay, after you find out all the angle already, okay, you can ready to find the rest of the part using sine law or cosine law. OK, so let's go back to the question there. I, I need to find the question now. Calculate the height of the tower now. OK, the angle elevation is 10. So, OK, I insert the new page here. Okay, calculate the height of a tower. Okay, so let's copy the question again so that you can see the question yourself. Okay. Okay. Okay, so what is going on is in this question, there's the information saying that the anchor of elevation of the top of a vertical tower is 10 degree when it is observed at the point A. So what happened is that this is A. It is not, not really triangle now, this is A. This is a B, the tower. Okay. Tower, we, we say that it's a B, right? The B is a tower here. Okay. Tower has a height. This anchor elevation is 10 degree. What is distance between A and B? We find out just now. The earlier part is 644 kilometer. Okay. So can you find the height of a tower? High of tower. Okay, calculate the high of tower. Both the sea level, right? Okay? The sea level, the sea level is a horizontal one. So you can use the what? Tangent of ten degree is height over adjacent, right? Using the Schwigo formula. Height over adjacent is opposite over adjacent. Okay, basically opposite over adjacent. Okay, or y over x r. It's the same formula. So from here, you have h equal to six four four. Um, tangent 10 degree so press the calculator now 644 times tangent 10 degree and then you find that the height is 113.5 maybe 114.5 so it's going for 
1.14. Okay, so this is how you answer example 4. Okay, so hopefully that is example of okay, really. So what is what is this new thing in this example is it talk about angle elevation. As in the previous example, we don't talk about angle elevation. Okay, so uh, so this is uh, something new. Okay, now the next example will be the most difficult example, last example of this. Chapter already. Okay, so the last example of the chapter. So for already. OK, so this is the last example, so I'm going to start all over again. And let me copy this one and then show you the, the picture here. Here's this one, example four. OK. Example five, let me start off with this example first. I want to insert this new page here because I want to show you the actual working. Okay. Okay, this is the question. Okay, example five. Uh, it's considered a very difficult question because we have to do something extra from here. Okay, in, in order to, to, to see this. So M and N are two different positions of a boat. And DC is a cliff. Height 44.6 kilometer above sea level. So let's see you are there now. They actually give, give you a diagram now. So this is M and N2 point. Okay. And there's a height of tower, uh, cliff, all right? Cliff, all right? So this is a cliff here. So the cliff is here somewhere here. And it show you that at two position, this is a cliff now 44.6 here. When the boat is at M, the cliff is on the bearing of 2250. Okay. When the boat is, okay, this one is later on. The difficult thing is you have to draw a separate diagram. Okay. Then when the boat is at M, the cliff is on the bearing of 2500. Okay. And the anchor elevation is 10. So you tell you that, okay, this anchor elevation is 10 here. So let me use a color here. 10. Okay. When the boat is at N, the cliff are on the bearing of 0, 0, 0. So another one, this is, and we used color code here. The, M, the cliff is 0, 0, 0. And the angle elevation is 12. OK, 
Okay, so this one another drop here. Then you can see that angle elevation is an angle you look up to the cliff here. So the only thing that the diagram don't show you is how do you look at the yellow part here? Okay, yellow part I think is this one. It's, okay, yellow part here. Yellow part is first of all where is M here? Go M is somewhere here. Okay, when when a boat is at M, the cliff is on the bearing of two five zero. Okay, two five zero is a zero here. Ninety, eighty zero, one zero, two seven zero, right? Two five zero is short of two two seven zero by twenty degrees. So this is twenty degree. So this is actually two five zero now. This is a cliff end here. Two five zero. At the point N, the bearing of the cliff is zero zero zero. So two five zero is here. Okay, so this is the cliff here. And where is N? N somewhere here, no? So this is the top, this is the cliff here. The cliff is somewhere here. The bearing of cliff is zero, 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 right? At the end, the bearing of cliff. So where is N? N somewhere here now? And zero 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 means not full, not not direction. Okay, this zero 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 ninety degree. So there are two triangle involved. One of them is bearing one. The other one is a. Bearing zero 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 right. Zero 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 means in the north. Or not in the north. Okay. So there are actually two triangles involved. Okay. So this is the the C here. The cliff and the point C, right? So you draw two triangle involved. So the yellow part is actually this part here and this part here. So this question is difficult because there are two things involved. Yeah, you might get confused. So you better draw two separate triangle. One of them is a bearing. Okay, direction. Okay. Don't confuse that uh, this is not the North Pole, at uh, least the point N, okay? So because sometimes you think that this is North Pole. So dimension North is here. Okay, zero, zero, zero. Okay, there's this two, five, zero. Okay, two, five, zero. Two, five, zero. Okay. So this is zero, 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 I think use the red color, okay. So zero, zero means not full. Okay, so when you indicate direction, usually you can say zero, zero, zero is not full. Okay, two, five, zero is the direction of the fifth from, from the M. Okay, so this is M here. Okay, so first thing first, find the distance CN. So look at the picture where is CN, or CN is this one. First part, CN, right? CN is one. So this is a right angle triangle, CN. 
the first part, right? The angle of elevation is 12 degree. And this is 44.6. So CN, you can use the tangent now. Okay. So, sorry, N is here. And it's here, C and Okay, so you can use tangent trial is equal to 44.6 over CN. All right, 44.6, so it's Y over X here. So, so CN is equal to 44.6 divided by tangent 12. So you can find this equal to, okay, let's try this down, 44.6 divided by tangent 12. So this will give you 209.8. You can take 210 meter. Huh? So this is 5 cm. So this is part A. So, first part about this, there are a, a few pictures here. So, the, the hard one is actually the bearing one, I didn't tell you, right? So, okay, bearing one, I didn't tell you, but the physical one, they'll tell you the triangle. Okay, so I move on to second part now. All right, so I could let's see how to show the second part. I want to copy this. Second part, I want to find the angle MCN. So let me copy whole page first. Okay, so I'm going to do part B now. Part B is how to find MCN now. So anything you want to stop me, I think I'm doing too fast, they let me know, right? So I'm going to do part B now. Find the anchor MCN. So MCN is this angle. Okay, find the anchor MCM now. So how do you find this? Okay, do you do do you know what are the distance? Okay, I know the distance from C to N already know this is actually just now we calculate there. C to N is two one zero. Okay, so, so what is this thing now? Okay, what is this angle now? Can you see for here? So this is actually 90 degree here, uh, horizontal line, that's this easy here, right? So this angle from the, we know is 20 degree, 
okay, from the parallel line, okay, from the parallel line. So, so anchor MCN from the diagram, you know, is 90 degree. Okay, such a not the east side line or southeast. Okay, it's 20, 90 degree plus 20 degree. So this is one one zero. Is it clear? So you know this just another 90 degree plus 20 degree. Okay, so we know that this is 90 degree. So MCN is 110. Okay, so now Let's try to find the last part now. Okay, last part. Find the distance MN. MM is which distance actually you can enjoy here. MN is this one. No, I use a, I'm gonna use a blue one. Or uh, MM, right? MM is this one. So it's actually, this is done here. So what law can you use now? Okay, you you can know that okay, MM is this. Do you know anything about the, the anchor? Unfortunately, uh, you, I don't think you can use sine law or cosine law. You have to figure out another side first. So you need okay. You can actually find the angle M, right? You can find angle M first. How to find angle M? So. Okay, my 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 take is this one is why okay find the angle M the side opposite angle M is two one zero and then we need that okay. I don't think I can work there because I think I need sine of C over MM. Okay, I don't know why. It's, I know C, but I don't know why it's M. Okay, and then the other one I also don't know. So I need something else, all right? So this is not a very good approach here. Okay, let's look at how I did it. Okay, find the last part. I think I need a cosine law, but before cosine law, I need to do something else. Okay, I think yes, it's, I need to do something else first. First, I need to find out what is CM. Okay, so CM, Let's look at the diagram. Okay, the same diagram uh, before. Okay. CM. 
uh, create this part. See, I need missing information. This part you don't know, right? CM. Okay. You need to find CM first, okay? Before you can find the. Okay, CM, you can find how to find CM. What, what kind of things you can use? Oh, this part is using have the physical triangle now, okay? CM, the VN is the blue part here. CM, right? Blue part here. You know that angle elevation is 44.10 degree. So 44.6 over it is 44.6 over CM. Okay, so this is actually 44.6 over CM. So you can find CM 252.94. Okay, once you find that CM 252.94 now, this part is actually C now. Right? So C is actually. We just have find angle of C is one one zero, so C is equal to a square. Okay, this is your m la. So C is equal to m square plus n square minus two C m C n cosine C here. So calculate them, and they find that C m here. So this part I just show it to you. Show your way. So you need to find out what is CM first. Okay, you need to find out and you have to do cosine law. So cosine law needs something. And this is trying to help from the cosine law. Okay, how to find CM. CM is actually coming from this triangle, right? CM. So there are two triangles involved. One of them is a physical triangle. The other one is a bearing triangle. Okay, just to recap uh, whole thing before I mark attendance, okay, no more early, yeah. for this lesson, no more early, okay, no more early, mark attendance early. So, uh, what's up to you early? Uh, Okay, before I'm attendance, so let me remind you that this week you have a quiz. By Saturday, you try to do the quiz, right? Quiz, triangle, MCQ, right? You have two attempts. Okay. But the question may not be everyone get the same question, okay? Because there are a lot of questions there. Basically, five MCQ only, right? So I'm going to mark the attendance now. So let me see how I'm not attendance. Okay, my attendance. Kitchen, now we have quiz. Have quiz uh. You can have quiz anytime. You have two attempt. Okay. Okay. You can go to the backboard because uh, because some people have, have no access. Well, I don't know. Say you have no access. Let me know, right? I come. Uh, okay. I want to stop this now. So stop sharing now. Okay, let me stop sharing now. I want to okay go to the attendance. Uh,
Ah, oh, this one for us. Depend on the which browser. Sometimes I internet explorer. Sometimes Google. Sometimes Google is very slow. Google is slow yet. So DNS. One or two. Okay, today is the second lesson, Emily. Okay, let me show you the screen. Yes, there's a screen now. So when I mark, call your name, you just unmute yourself. Okay, this is the okay. Uh, Google, are you here? Yeah, I think Google is here now. I saw your name. Okay, Mama Hasim is here. All right, Max Milan, Colleen, why? Yeah, okay, thank you. Slaya, I think you yeah. are here. Mama Zafri, yeah, yeah, yeah yes, okay, sir. thank you. Yes. Edward Tan, yeah, I'm still here. Okay, Mama Hari. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Ini Yang. Yeah, here. Okay, Fahil Bin Wahadi. Here. Yeah. Okay. Ne Safiqua. Ne Safiqua Binti Sasali. Not here. Okay, oh, here. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah, your mic got problem. Uh, yeah, Insan. Yeah. Okay, Brian Tan, are you here? Anton, are you here? Yes, sir. Thank you. Rajis Vaharan. Rajis Vaharan. Dinaharan. Are you here? Uh, are you here? Yeah. So, Teacher, Google here. Google here. Google is here, but you're not Google, right? I'm Google, I'm Google. Google. Yeah, are you? Are you Google? No. Yeah, Rajis Vaha. Rajis Vaharan is you. Ah? No, no, no. I'm Google. Oh. Yeah, Google. Oh, take it here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Google, I'm not you. Really, yeah, yeah. Is that Rajis Vaharan here? Yeah? No. Ah. I need a little check. Okay. Okay, Fukao is here. Mama Fritaus, are you here? Yes, I'm here. Okay, thank you. C. David Dasan. C. David Dasan, are you here? No, yeah. I'm checking. Mama Wasim? Yes, sir, yeah. Thank you. Uh, Mama Martin? Yeah. Thank you. So, I mean, okay, first, let me uh, go back and check your attendance first. Okay, I think usually you can get from here. Okay, see whether you are here. Okay. Mohammed Fitas, are you here? Yes, I'm here. Okay, one more fit house. Are you here? You are here, lah. Okay, ah, uh, fit more fit house. Yes. Okay. David, Tarsan, are you here? David, Tarsan, no here. Yeah. So, go back to the share screen now. David Tassan. Okay, David Tassan. Okay, I'll show you again. David Tarsan not here, right? Then Amafita is here. 
dengan si yang lain. Rajis berwahan. Rajis berwahan. Are you here? No, right? David Tasan. Oh, ya. Yeah. So, I think Rajis with Rahan is not here also. He didn't accept. Okay, so I'm not attending only. So that will be all. So update first. Okay, that will be all for today. So see you tomorrow. Okay, thank you. All right, see you soon. Who? Okay, who is speaking? Bye, Jim. Yeah, bye. Bye. Yeah, bye. Bye, Jim. Bye bye. Yo, what's up, David?